It's the 21st century, and many nations are still without clean water. According to the CDC, about 35% of the world's population don't have access to improved water sanitation facilities. To put that into perspective, that's 2.5 billion people who don't have access to one of the most basic human needs, water. Although most of our planet is water, only a very, very small percentage of that amount is actually safe to use. The rest is just salt water, which, spoiler alert, isn't healthy. But wait, can't we just convert the seawater into regular water? While that is true, these purification plants require massive amounts of energy to run, and be a very costly venture to say the least. So, how can we work around this issue? Well, what if I told you the desalination plant could power itself? Hi, I'm Abhi Estish. I'm Yusuf Ayman. I'm Rain Hezi. I'm Muhammad Hairi. And I'm Afik Ilyasa. We're Shio Mizu, a group of eco-conscious individuals who decided to band together and try to find solutions to some of the most pressing issues affecting our world today. For starters, I'll explain what my teammate means by that. If you didn't know, salt water is an ionic liquid, so by using the concept of magnetohydrodynamics, we will be able to generate electricity from that. But first, what is magnetohydrodynamics? Magnetohydrodynamics is the study of magnetic properties and behavior of electrically conducting fluids. The fundamental concept behind MHD is that magnetic fields can induce currents in a moving, conductive fluid, which in turn polarizes the fluid and reciprocally changes the magnetic field itself. When salt water comes into contact with the magnet, there will be a small increase in voltage as can be observed on the attached DC voltmeter. While the amount produced here is very small, it is merely a proof of concept. In the future, we intend on upscaling it into a larger size, with minor tweaks in order to maximize efficiency. The energy generated from this magnet will then be used to power the heating element in the desalination unit. You might ask, why are we only supporting desalination systems and not other facilities, such as towns or factories? Well, we did previously intend on doing so. However, we felt the project was too ambitious, and downsized the project to do something more manageable. Now, we move on to the desalination side of things. As mentioned, the energy created from the seawater will be used to power the heating element used in the distillation system. Distillation is the process of removing water in seawater. This can be done in many ways, but two of the most commonly used methods are reverse osmosis and distillation. However, for our purposes, we will be using the distillation method. This method involves boiling water, which will turn it into steam. An apparatus known as the condenser, which uses cool untreated water, will absorb the heat from the steam, which is then collected as distilled water. This water contains no foreign substances and is perfectly safe for use. And in addition, it also separates the salt from the salt water, which can be collected and used for other purposes. Here is our complete system. First, the hydrodynamics generator will generate electricity which will power heating system in the desalination plant. From there, the water will then flow into the first water tank. The valve is open and the water flows into the heating compartment. The distillation process occurs and the clean water that's produced flows to a containment tank before being supplied to our homes. In conclusion, we have developed a seawater powered distillation system which can power itself so long as it has a sufficient supply of salt water. Unfortunately, we were unable to demonstrate this concept fully since we could not tamper with the apparatus used in our demonstrations. However, we do intend on making an improved version in the future which will satisfy the objectives that we originally set for ourselves. And with that, ends our presentation. We truly hope that our idea can be fully realized in the near future. On behalf of my fellow members at Shio Mizu, thank you for watching.